What's up in the loop? It's Hyde checking in from Dollywood. Opening weekend. Right now it's the I Will Always Love You Festival. Let's go check that out. Check out construction and what else is new this year? We'll start things off here with a construction update of Big Bear Mountain. You can see just how close it is to the, the path here in Wildwood Grove. I mean, it comes maybe 10, 15 feet from the path. Here's one of the kind of tunnel elements getting kind of the final, final thematic elements applied. Let's head deeper into Wildwood Grove and see more. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, Just put in perspective how long and big this coaster is. Standing, looking to my right, and while we grow, I turn around all the way. There it is on my left, literally the exact opposite side. So this thing spans this entire back portion. The back area here is where it'll connect on to the ride. She looks quite tall in a couple of those hills there. Look at the two launches that are side by side here. Merch is already out in full force for the ride, including these cool little mini build a bear building blocks, little mini roller coaster car, and all your traditional t shirts and mugs and stuff. I quite like the design. Even more over here. So they've been doing a lot of work on Thunderhead the last few years. This used to be one of my all-time favorite coasters. And let's just say the work has paid off. This ride is running incredibly well. Probably the best it's run since like 2008, 2009, 2010 time frame. So super excited to see that. Are we maybe turned a page with Lightning Rod? They are running two trains today. They are barely stacking. I mean, the second this train parks, maybe maybe about 10 seconds after the trains park uh, in the block break, they dispatch the other one. I mean, they're, they're getting these things in and out. I waited 15 minutes. I mean, food lines are longer than lightning rods. So hopefully that's a good sign that maybe uh, they've got it fine tuned to a place where uh, lines aren't crazy and they run two trains and it's reliable. Hopefully. Showing off this area of the park because this will be the last time it looks like this. Uh, I'll show some clips in a second, but Dolly earlier announced today that this area will be completely reimagined, really all about her, which makes sense since the park is named after her. Um, they're going to have a state-of-the-art museum kind of dedicated to some of the instruments she plays and some of the songs, as well as a, a really cool-looking immersive art museum. Those are popping up all across the country, and this looks like to be really high tech so this kind of once dated area of the park is getting completely reimagined for the 2024 season so this is the last time you're probably going to see it look like this and one of our next videos will probably you, you'll see some of the changes so now i'm going to turn it over to the presentation we saw earlier from dolly on what changes are coming coming to dollywood in 2024 it's the expansive new dolly parton experience a multifaceted approach to telling Dolly's story. Individual experiences will thrill even the most devoted of Dolly's fans. The crown jewel again. in the center of the room, the neck of the guitar breaks through a star-filled sky, much like little Dolly's wishes and dreams broke through every expectation, transforming into several of Dolly's signature guitars while surrounded by swirls of butterflies and lyrics the music and songs change too, carrying us from the earliest lyrics of Little Tiny Tasseltop to the unmistakable guitar riff of Jolene. Our guests will kind multimedia storytelling experience. We'll be surrounded by stunning video imagery and pristine sound. Then Dolly Parton, the song teller. 
For the first month of the season, the park is having a I Will Always Love You 50th anniversary celebration and really focused on celebrating songwriters uh, that have written big hits that you might not know them for their big hits. Dolly Parton, for example, most people think of Whitney Houston when they think of I Will Always Love You. So that's kind of the theme for the first month before they move into some other festivals. Throughout the different seasons, they always decorate this area, elevated area, a little bit different to commemorate this I Will Always Love You festival. Uh, pink uh, glittery things. Looks cool though. Merch is a big part of this event. There's a booth here kind of near the front of the park. And it's had quite a long line all day with people buying up tons and tons of merch. Dollywood's best year ever in 2022. Yeah. Let's take a little look at that and see how the construction is going. Well, I'm going to be getting my exercise walking off of the stage. I'll be there. wrap up our quick visit to Dollywood. Well, Big Bear Mountain's not open yet. It does look really cool. It wins in May. I certainly love the uh, improvements to Thunderhead right over here. Running better than ever. And Lightning Rod with its two train operations. That's a win in itself because that's a great ride. So anytime you can get on that ride more, it's a win. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll have more videos on the big day. Alright, I just give up. Watch the videos, yes, thanks.